Alright, uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depends on where you are watching this uh, tutorial from. Uh, on behalf of the entire crew, I welcome you to AA Adibayo Editech. On my last video I posted uh, on my channel, I received many questions on how to get a uh, free DOI, on how to get a free DOI. And when the question was when you have a free DOI, how do you um, use it? So, that from this uh, video you now to come up to explain more on how you can use the DOI properly. The DOI uh, is for journal, basically. But you as a researcher, you as an academic, uh, it is important for you to use for your lecture notes, uh, your seminar papers, your projects, whatever that is belong to you. In fact, videos and seminars, but I'm talking about paper now. Your lecture notes for a period of time, for a semester, can be counting for you. When you have a free UI, it means that your paper is already in open access because you generated it from a Zenodo platform. So, like I told you in the previous video, go and watch and know what is uh, Zenodo.org is all about. Here you get the UI. Now, the question was that if they don't have um, the journal page, how do they now upload or how can they upload the UI? I told them that I want to ask you now. You as a researcher, I'm talking to academic now. Your lecture notes, you have to create three different accounts. Web of Science, um, ORCID, then Academia ID. So I'm going to do a video how you upload. If you don't have an account in this people or this uh, website, go and create an account there. So I'm going to post a video on how to create Web of Science accounts how to create ORCID, how to create um, uh, Academy ID accounts. So now the paper you uploaded on the number of all that you have a UI for it, the number is already published in the open assets. So what do you do? You pick it from there and you go and export the paper from your you just when you go to ORCID for example, there's a place at last for those of us that have that uh, have accounts, go and check. And the last in the profile of ORCID, the last page, you will say add publications. When you click on add publications, you will see export to UI. That's where the UI becomes important. So you export there, it will pick it for you. And that is your right. The important thing have having the UI is that the article you generated a DOI for, no one else can use it without your permission. For example, if I copy a part or I tap and insight you. If the wrong plagiarism check on that particular article, it will pick that this article belongs to one particular author. So the person must cite you. That's the meaning. If not, it will drop the person. Will so it will pick. So now, the question on many people ask me, aside from this question, I've answered from getting the viewer. Some people said, OJS, that is Open Journal System, and uh, Public, um, that is the PKP, Public uh, Knowledge Project, they are free. And I say yes, it's free. I have 17 comments on my WhatsApp telling me that it's free. Why would they pay for it? And I reply some of them and say, well, I'm going to do a video that will capture this. That any software you are using, you always have the free version. So if you go for the free version, you have more, um, you have more uh, features to use, and that is the case of OGS and PKP. Are we there now? Um, without uh, going further, I'm going to take you straight to the page where they are going to see OGS. The difference between the OGS and PKP, they are the same, it's the same company. Okay, as you can see here, we have programming language, you have PHP, developer, you have public knowledge project, and license, look at it, you have GND, general public license. Now, if you have that, on the new current, on the latest version, I will show you that, is CCA. So, 
I'm going to stop here and take it to the other journal. Look at the, my notes here. I'm going to write here so that you can see it. Okay, let's go up here. I don't think I'm narrating. I'm not narrating here, but let's go up here. Can you see now? So, let me narrate what is here so that it will be clear to you that OGS and PKP is the same. But we have different versions every time. So, we have OGS, we have an open journal system, also known as what? OGS. Now, it is what? is an open source and a free software for what? The journal of peer review academic journals created by what? Created by public knowledge project and released under the GNU General Public License. Now, this is a programming language that is used PHP. If you are a programmer, you should understand what is PHP. Okay, developed by what? Public Knowledge Project, that is PKP, and the license, like I said. Now look at the version of this year. The, la the version for PKP is released by what? We have 3.3 version, 0, and it released in this year, 2023, 7 months ago. Can you see that? 7 months ago. Look at it, 7 months ago. So what you are using last year will not be the same as this if you are not using the state version. So that is one. Now let's move from here to, and now you can see the definition here. I made this clear for you to, to, to educate you, or like, I don't want to do the word educate, to enlighten you on the OGS, okay? Now, now let's go back to, let me clean all this, clean all. Now let's go back to the current version of OGS. And when we go there, what do we see? Let's go. Um, yes, let me go to the Chrome. Now, this is a journal of, um, this is data. I'm sorry I'm using this um, universities, but this is Veritas University, and um, you can see it here. They can't see me, I'm just trying to explain something. So I'm talking about the Journal of History in in Veritas University, that is Luna. You can see it here. Now, look at what it is. This is a solution developed by their developer. And this solution cannot have what? OGS. Why? We cannot, we cannot uh, embed UI uh, here because there is no programming a space for, for what? OGS here. Uh, or DUI. So if you generate GUI and you are using this kind of format, it will not work. You are only wasting your time. So the only thing that can work for you is for you to use the look at let me view the journals here so they can see what is here. You can see, let's go from this. Okay. Yes, look at the journal here. <laughs> you see the way it looks like. I'm so sorry for doing this. I need to explain to you what form this is because people are saying it's the same. I said no, it's not the same. You can develop a, a, a solution. Those tech guys will know what I'm talking about. By, I'm saying by solution. Okay, this is a solution developed by the programmers on the data in the data university. And I'm having the journals and PDF. Look at their PDF there. And there's no way that UI can be put here because they don't have the solution that we call that we call OGS. So the best way for you as a university, you as a publisher, you as a journal um, businessman or a company, you have to just buy the OGS written version that is CC 4.0 that will create you coming, that will help you give you the most effective way of producing your journal without fail. Now if I go back here and click on this. You see, let me click on one article here. You see that there is no GUI. Even, even they can go and get the GUI. 
the VR will not show you because you don't have the capacity what the creator you don't have the capacity to embed the GUI in the article. So if you look at the article, I click on now. If you look at the article, there is no GUI here. So it just to tell you that all this kind of journal page can never get they will get GUI like I told you, I thought you have to get it. But you cannot embed it and it will work. So that is why. Now let's go back to the latest version of GUI. When you go back there, let me open a lot of journal of humanities in the union. It's a journal owned by uh, Faculty of Arts in the University of Leon. They, they use the same style. They also use uh, PKP, that is public knowledge. Look at it here. Look at what they put. They just pack it, they just put all the journals in PDF. So you can see that it is it's not the same as the current OGS. So I'm just telling you that I'm not downgrading the right journal. I've communicated to you again that you should come in and make sure you do corrections. And so on. So uh, we are still on it. If your donor is somehow like this, please contact me or contact us at OGS Nigeria to help you. But for now, it's better you just um, uh, partner with us with the speaking money or uh, what you pay to us. We are, we are publishing it will help you a lot. Now, let's go back to the current OGS. I'll open the back end of each one of them. So that you can see what is going on here. Now I'm opening to Journal of Humanities. No, I'm in BB. I don't want to open the Journal of Humanities. Let me open Journal of uh, um, Babcock. No, let me. I have many journals there. Let me. So if you look at the heading of the journals, you will see PKP, which means that we have PKP here. We have another Journal of Humanities too. Show PKP. Then we have the new Journal of Language. So PKP. The same thing here all over. They all show PKP. It means that OGS is is what is licensed, is built. Um, OGS is what is also the same as uh, PKP public knowledge. The, that's what they created as that's the first thing they created. And later now they feel like oh let's do something better that will bring more production, journal, publishing, management, scholarly one. So based on that, they now upgraded to OGS. So that's why you always see anything published on OGS is what? Is always generating a big PKP as a source because they are the owner of the this OGS that is open journal system is developed by public knowledge projects. So get it right. Now you can see a little journal of money that look like this. It's also the same. Look at it here. The same thing. Look at the way it looks like here. Yeah, let me narrate it so that you can see. Like the you pack a load and you bump it somewhere. Okay? Now that is the old version. Now if you are using the latest version, this is how it will look. Let me open journal of manages. Dependency on sorry. So let me open journal of manages. Now, uh, I don't want to log in, but let me just open it. You can see here that this is the latest version of OGS. And the latest version here, look at it. It will bring uh, my picture here. Yes, it will bring what about the journal. It will bring details like this. Can you see the front view? You see what is showing here. This is what it will bring. And look at the video here. It will bring number of reads. You can see that. Okay, it will bring number of read, most read, most read articles, can see now. It will bring things here. That's the latest version, which you won't see.